I have another fun quick theorem for you in abstract algebra, and this one says that for every element A in your group G, there is a unique inverse for that element. So um, we know that for a group to be a group, every element has to have an inverse. Well, this theorem says that that inverse has to be unique. So I'm going to prove this for you. And I'm going to do it a fairly common way, which uh, if I want to show this thing is unique, I'm going to suppose that there are two of those things and then show that those things are the same. So take my element A and G, and I'm going to suppose that C, let's say, I guess I should go alphabetical, let's say B and C, which are in G, are inverses of A. Now remember what it means to be an inverse. Something is an inverse if you times it by the element, whichever way, either from the left side or the right side, you get the identity. Right? So B is an inverse of A if A times B or B times A is the identity element. Well, uh, so that's for B. If C is also an inverse, then I've got A times C is equal to C times A, which is also the identity element. Well, um, here I have that AB is equal to E, and I've got that AC is equal to E. That implies that AB has to equal AC. And if you watched my previous video, or if you know the fact that if you're in any group, the left and right hand cancellation laws hold, we simply just cancel the A on both sides, right? The left hand cancellation law works. And I get that B is equal to C. So there is actually only one unique inverse element for every element. And so I could have just done this um, with the other way. I could have said that BA is equal to CA, right, using the second line here, since they're both also equal to the identity, and then just canceled A on the right. And I'll get the exact same result. So this theorem, nice, quick, and easy proof. I hope you enjoyed it, and have a great day.